Hello everyone, today's class deals with commas, semicolons and colons. Use a comma between a dependent clause and an independent clause, or two independent clauses when conjunctions such as for, and, nor, but, or, or yet are used to connect them. When I am older, I want to get married. The first clause is a dependent clause, and it is separated from the second clause, an independent clause, by a comma. I have painted the entire house, but she is still working on sanding the floors. This sentence is made of two independent clauses. They are separated by a comma and a conjunction. If the clauses are both short, omit the comma. I painted and he sanded. If you have one clause, just a subject and a verb, do not use a comma in front of the conjunction. I have painted the house, but still need to sand the floors. This sentence has two verbs, but only one subject, so it has only one clause. Also use them to separate three or more items on a list. I need to buy eggs, milk, lettuce, and bread. The last comma before the conjunction is optional, known as an Oxford comma. The main task of the semicolon is to mark a break that is stronger than a comma but not as final as a full stop or period. Use the semicolon if you have two independent clauses connected without a conjunction. I've cleaned the house. I still need to go to the market. Also use the semicolon when you already have commas with a sentence for smaller separations and you need the semicolon to show bigger separations. For example, we met the representatives from San Antonio, Texas, Buffalo, New York, and Los Angeles, California. A third use is to separate independent clauses joined by a conjunctive adverb, such as however, still, nevertheless, furthermore, in addition, etc. Kim is Korean, however, he can't speak Korean. A colon is used to introduce a second sentence that clarifies the first sentence. We have set this restriction. Do your homework before watching television. Notice that the first word of the second sentence is not capitalized. If, however, you have additional sentences following the sentence with the colon, and they explain the sentence prior to the colon, capitalize the first word of all the sentences following the colon. A colon is also used to introduce a list. For example, the price includes the following, insurance, two first-class tickets, hotel accommodation, and excursions. It is sometimes used before a quotation or before direct speech. The headline read, Seven Soldiers Rescued in Tehran. So now to practice what we've learned. Place commas where they belong in each sentence. Use a semicolon and a conjunctive adverb to combine the following independent clauses. Use a semicolon in the appropriate place to separate items in a list in the following sentences. And use a semicolon in the appropriate place to combine the following independent clauses. Place a colon where it belongs in each sentence. And that brings us to the end of today's class. For more information on our one-to-one -one classes with a native speaking teacher, visit speakeasy1to1.com. 
Thanks for watching.